Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining engine horsepower versus wheel horsepower. Now I want to start getting into ways to increase horsepower and ways to make your car accelerate more quickly and so before I do that it's important to understand engine horsepower and wheel horsepower. Now put very simply, engine horsepower is the horsepower your engine creates measured at the flywheel. Wheel horsepower is the horsepower that your car makes measured at the, the driven wheels. So here we've got an example, we've got our engine, our two-cylinder engine, and it's rotating this crankshaft, which is rotating the flywheel. Now measuring engine horsepower, that's where it ends. So you'll use an engine dynamometer, and what you'll do is you'll break that against this flywheel, and you'll measure the torque that this flywheel supplies at a certain RPM. Now you take that torque and RPM, multiply them together and divide by 5252 and that will give you your horsepower. So if you don't understand this equation, um, I've got a video explaining horsepower and torque. You should check out to get that information. Now, one of the things that is excluded, well there's several things that are excluded when you measure engine horsepower, when manufacturers say, okay we're going to give you uh, this new car and it has 200 horsepower and they're giving you the engine horsepower. Now the reason they're giving you the engine horsepower is because it's always higher than the wheel horsepower. So, what are some of the things that they might exclude from the engine horsepower? Well, if it has power steering, they're not going to account for the power required uh, in order to steer the car. They also may not include the power if you have your air conditioner on. You have to run a compressor and that drains power from your engine. Other things that may drain uh, power from your engine that might not be included in what the manufacturer is claiming is the horsepower include the alternator, um, which powers all the electrical and recharges the battery, uh, the water pump, and if you have a restrictive exhaust. So they may measure engine power without a very restrictive exhaust and then put a restrictive exhaust on the car, and then the engine horsepower is going to be a bit different. So on the other side, what we've got going on is wheel horsepower. So the same way, you measure it using a dynamometer that you put the wheels on, and you measure the torque supplied at a certain RPM, use your equation, and you can figure out the horsepower. Now, within this whole drive line, we've got all kinds of things that are going to reduce our engine power. So, starting with the clutch, um, this could be a torque converter, and clutches are typically going to have a better efficiency at transferring all of the torque, uh, whereas a torque converter is spinning in a fluid, and so there will be frictional losses. That's why with some vehicles, you may see that the automatic is rated at uh, a higher horsepower, or a lower horsepower, sorry, than the manual, and they're taking into account the torque converter. Um, so next up we've got our transmission. So within that you've got gears that are all spinning and for those gears to spin obviously you need friction and that friction creates heat and so that heat is lost energy. So once again more energy lost from our quoted 200 horsepower or whatever the manufacturer is claiming. You've got U-joints between your uh, transmission and your drive shaft and your drive shaft and your differential. Um, so you've got friction uh, within your differential, you've got friction going out to the wheels, and so all of this friction means that you're going to lose uh, some of that engine horsepower. So as a general rule of thumb, um, a two-wheel drive vehicle is typically going to lose somewhere uh, at about 10 to 15 percent of its engine power, um, probably around the 15 percent area, uh, because of all the frictional losses throughout the drivetrain. Now, if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle or an all-wheel drive vehicle and you're driving all four wheels, then you're going to obviously have a lot more friction and so you can expect to lose a bit more of your engine horsepower. So your wheel horsepower is going to be maybe around 20% to 25% less than what your quoted engine horsepower is. So I hope now you have a better understanding of engine horsepower and wheel horsepower and so now we can start kind of getting more into detail of how can we increase engine horsepower? How can we increase wheel horsepower? How can we make a car go faster?